Hi guys and welcome to Forge Right. Glad you could drop in. Today's video will be making my coal shovel. As you would have seen in the last video, if you watched the last video, I made a cupping stump out of an old off cut from a fence post. Temporary job, but it uh, works quite well. So today I will be taking a three millimeter thick piece of mild steel plate and using a template to draw a line and then getting my plasma cutter cutting out a rough shape putting on the grinder cleaning up all the edges sticking it in the forge and then heating her up to a point where i can start using my cupping stump to get a dish shape form that up the best i can get it on the anvil clean it all up and then i'll make a handle and uh, she'll be riveted together before I do, I forgot to show you, I'm just using a piece of paper here. So standard piece of paper, that's the shape I'm taking on. Um, borrowing the design from Thark Ironworks. So he made a uh, coal shovel in his workshop and I really liked the sexy design as he called it. So um, I asked him if I could uh, borrow it and he was quite happy for me to do so. So here it is. I've just cut out a rough shape first. Then I folded it over in the middle and trimmed it up to exactly what I want so that I knew that both sides were the same as each other. And then fold it back out, put that on over my steel, drew a line around it and bingo, away you go. So now let's get into it. I've got to say, this light coming in above my head is making it almost impossible to see the line. Really, really disappointing. Pretty close. Yeah, I know that's a bit bulky. I'm thinking maybe I should take that down now too. I might do it on the grinder. Righto, I got him on the grinder and cleaned him up a little bit. And uh, with the handle coming off here, I think that's going to be reasonably symmetrical. It's obviously not perfect, but I think that's good enough for a coal shovel. Right, well after my first uh, fire and forging, I uh, noted that I had a situation where I had an opening down on the bottom down here and it was all closed off at the top here, which meant that the smoke really had to go sideways and then up to get in. So I thought I'd make an early change and uh, do a bit of an adaption to it so I'll try and get a good view and show you what I've done excuse the camera work here so what I've effectively done is I've taken the top plate out of here and I've welded it into there so I've got the same amount of space opening that I had previously it's just now I've got a plate down the bottom here so that the smoke when it comes up doesn't have to turn so much sideways before going in. So I think that's um, going to be an improvement. I um, have taken some advice from Alex at Valhalla Forge and uh, he's recommended some charcoal which he uses. I'm trying to find a supplier down here in the south, but if all else fails, I'll take my ute up and pick some up from them. They do deliver statewide, but I don't know what the expense, the cost will be to deliver down here because they're up in Launceston and I'm down in Hobart. So I've sent them an email and I'll probably give them a phone call today, see what sort of a price they can do to deliver to Hobart. But in the meantime, I'm just mucking around experimenting. And I'm going to be uh, doing a bit of work on this coal shovel that I need to make. So 
that's the handle end. Got to curl him up. And as I've shown in the video previously, I've made a stump with a depression in it. And I'll start, I'll start at that end obviously, heat him up and start whacking a depression in there. Here's my piece of steel. I've got some little mark on it where I think I should go. I don't know how long that's going to stay there. Cover it over. Tell me if I'm not doing this right. I've now got the whole thing covered, so theoretically, baking in like an oven in there. I'm surprised there's not more smoke with the amount of uh, coal I've got smothering it there, but uh, yeah, looking good at this stage. Yep, starting to get some heat in there. Only really need it hot in that front bit at the start. Let's have a look at him. Great heat. See if we can touch up this a little bit more. Bit of a dish shape. I think I might try filling that up with water for now. Just letting that soak in. Now, what I want to try and do here is get the um, edges up. So I figure. Now, probably the best way to do that is to bring it out, stand it up on its edge, and then hit on the edge, flip it over, hit on the other edge, try and get those two edges to fold over as much as possible. Just got one edge in now. I want the other one to stay as cold, as cool as possible. That way, when I'm hitting on that edge, it's only one edge that, that turns. I'll, then I'll do the opposite to the other side. Not too bad. Got to bring that one down now. Looking a bit better. A bit squarer on that side. Boy, that heats up fast. Open that up a bit. I've got to open those edges and get it to be a bit less upright in them corners there. Just got to, going to have to might go back to the stump and try and round that a little bit. Yeah, so obviously this is the handle here. So what I want is to make this side more like that side so I'm gonna to have to hit down in here 
flatten that bit out and keep the rise on that side and uh, start doing some touch-ups. It's a bit better. I think this one's now too high. I might bring this one down to match that one, I reckon. Not looking too bad. Just gonna put a sharper edge on the front lip. Just take the edge off it a little bit so that it um, doesn't push things, it scoops, it slides under things. I'm gonna stand this edge up here. This one comes pretty straight and then turns. This one comes straight and then this bit comes out there. So I'm just gonna fix that edge up there. Left-handed hammering, bloody hell. What's the world coming to? A little bit more heat into here and then I can take that sharp corner out of there. Had to happen. My old faithful ball peen hammer. She snapped. What a shame. I'll put another handle on him. It's a great head. Good. It's actually quite good because it gives me a chance to put a new head on it. Okay, gonna make my handle out of this. It is, I believe, 20 mil square stock. Let's have a look. No, it's not. It's good. 16 mil square stock. Even better. I'm going to give it 400 mil. Just trying to put a bit more of a point on the end of that. Just round him. Right, she's a bit rounded on the end now. What I'm going to try and do is just get a bit of a set down there, make that transition nice, get a bit of a set down on that edge there, and um, then it might meet up against the edge of the shovel pan better. Get it down to there. Way too hot. Got distracted. All right, so that's got me set down. I'm going to um, shorten that and then round it off. So I only wanted 40 mil at the most. And because I decided to do the set down after I started, which was a bit silly, I've got too much material off. Apologies once again guys, I uh, didn't notice the camera had disconnected, it turned itself off and uh, I missed the start of the drawing out of the uh, hook end. If someone can explain to me why I keep getting a twist in the metal as I'm trying to taper it out. I, uh, I start with it square, sitting square, and then as I go, that square ends up rotating a bit. Somebody can tell me what I'm doing wrong there in my hammering style. I'd appreciate the tip. Not too bad. Not sure what I'm going to do with this middle section yet, so I haven't done anything with it now. As yet.
I've got him gradual taper. Got a square section at the end here, and then into the attachment point. Uh, I'm just thinking I might do something on there. I'm trying to think what I should do. Look at them ugly suckers I pulled out of the bottom of the fire. No wonder I was starting to get some crud on my steel. Wire wheeled up. Just a bit of a symbol. Very much cruddy on the bottom of here. I'm glad that's on the bottom where it can't be seen. That was when I had that big clinker in there and I think it started really eating away at the, the metal. What I gotta do now is heat this section back up and make a, a ring. Curl it round. It's the circle. A little bit square, right on the end. I've got to be carried away getting down, taking that first bit off too sharp. But it'll do, it's a hanger. Just gonna let that cool down and then I'll drill a couple of holes in there and rivet it on. Okay, I've got my pan all um, blacksmith gooped up. So a bit of beeswax, linseed oil, and um, acetone is what I've used in my mix. Um, so I'm going to rivet the handle onto here, but I just want to put a bit of a kink in the handle so that it doesn't stick straight up like that. I want it to come up and then bend down again. So I've got to kick the, the flat spot down a bit. So I'm just heating her up now. So I'll just put it. Should do it. I don't know if it's enough, but it doesn't look too bad if I've got that there. See if we can figure out. Where that would go. Alright, that's where my holes are going. I just looked up and noticed that the red light wasn't on the camera so I've got my holes drilled um, drilled this one and I'm in the process of putting this rivet through I'm cold riveting them they're eight mil thick but I don't think that should be too much of a problem I reckon I can get that to burr over quite nicely Main, main part of it like that and then I shall try and bird the rest over with my tiny little ball pen. Actually not even gonna need to. That's very snug. She's out of line so now I'll bring him back into line. That's what she's looking like at the moment. I've got that one in pretty well. She's nice and snug along the base here. So I'll now drill out that hole, make sure I've got him nice and straight, which it is. I'll drill out this other hole and then put another rivet in. 
I made them 25 mil long. This material is 10 mil thick, and the plate is 3 mil thick. So that gives me 11 mil. So I've doubled that up. Gives me enough on either side to get a good rounded. Oh, that's pretty flat. He's solid. Might do a bit of um, try and do a bit of rounding, I reckon. Not too bad. Certainly solid. Got my touch mark there with a couple of little rectangular decorative points on there. So that's just a bit of silly business, really. Um, just playing around. Well, there we have it, the end of that little project. I'm pretty happy with the way it turned out. Uh, so today I'll get rid of that. Today I made this coal shovel, as you would be well aware because you've just watched the video. So, yeah, it uh, came together really well. I think it's good for a first try. It's not exactly perfectly smooth. There's a few slight hammer marks in there that I wish weren't there. Nice little design. And I do have to give a big thank you to Thack from Thack Ironworks. He made a coal shovel on his channel. I had a look at that, like the sexy design as he called it, and asked if I could produce something like it. His is better than what mine is, uh, clearly. He's been doing it a lot longer and he makes armor, so knows what he's doing. I've put my touch mark and a couple of little rectangular design marks on there just for fun. The other thing that happened to me today was I was happily tapping away with my ball peen hammer and the uh, handle broke. This is the old handle that I've had in it for many years. This hammer Oh, I don't know, this it's probably as old as me, this hammer. It's gorgeous. It's a one and three quarter pound hammer. Just a standard ball peen, forged hammer. Really, really nice, I like it. And I don't want to lose it. So what I thought I'd do is while I had it broken, I put it in the forge, just on the edge of the forge, burned the material out of it so it didn't get hot enough to lose any of its temper and then I have decided I'd clean it up which I did I can't quite read the manufacturer's name on there which is really disappointing love to know who made it um, but anyway as you can see on there I think you can probably read that one and three quarter pound um, while I had it off, I decided I'd put it on the wire wheel, cleaned it all up nicely, and I got the flap disc and very slowly took the edges off here. So it's got more of a rounding hammer profile to the top of it now. So it'll be a much more useful hammer for me. I am gonna just take a little bit of that edge off around there um, just I just felt a little bit of it there just a little bit sharp at times so I'll just run the flap disc right around the very edge almost on that angle just to take that little burr off the edge of there and um, and I cut the old handle off cut the old handle down put it on the sander sanded it down made it fit again so she lives again until I get a good quality handle for it which I'm going to do made a wedge 
that goes in nicely. Um, I made a wedge that goes down all the way through, probably goes in to about there somewhere, but I cut a couple of little backward V's in it so that it'll go in, but it doesn't want to come out. So um, the trouble with a lot of the wedges in these, these hammers is they're just a straight wedge. It's an interesting tiny little hammer. I've got another one of these small ball peen hammers but I don't know where it's got to. That and one of my punches has gone missing. I've been doing a job somewhere and haven't managed to bring it home with me somewhere. I think it might be out the front but it'll turn up. Hopefully they'll both turn up. But you can see that hammer it's actually got a bend in the in the handle. I'll just try and get you online there. You can see there it's got a slight bend in the handle which is really really weird. Um, never seen a handle with that much bend in it before but uh, it's also got some bad cracking in here so it'll break in the not too distant future crack runs down there down there and then another little crack there so she'll snap right there and I'll whip the head off it out of it and clean it up as well probably put a bit of a take the edge off there and clean up that surface as well it's not a bad little hammer but I need to find my other one this is a great hammer love it so very happy to have that back in action again okay well thank you very much for watching Forge Right, and I hope you enjoyed the video and I will um, catch you next time